Hey, killer. What? Hey, it's cool. Your secret's safe with me. What, what secret? Haven't you been watching the news? Once again, our top story tonight, Malcolm Corley, owner of Corley Motors, was found dead at a rest stop just outside the town of Mellonweed. Apparently, the benevolent patriarch and CEO was viciously beaten about the head and neck, savagely and without mercy. Police have arrested a notorious outlaw biker gang known as the Polgats. No. With the exception of their leader, who is still at large. Roadblocks have been set up along Highway 9 in an effort to apprehend this dangerous and violent criminal. We've been set up. Roadblocks suck. I shouldn't have left the gang there. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to hear anything about it. You ain't making me an accessory after the fact. Just lay low, man. Yeah, lay low. Who's this guy? Emmett, apparently. He doesn't look happy. Well, let's talk to him then. <laughs> I guess we, yeah, we would want a ride, because riding on our motorcycle would grab a lot of attention, so... I can do that, though. I can do that. Not gonna happen. Aww. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Alright, guess not. Seem to have a lot of time on your hands. Not to mention nicks and scratches. <laughs> Am I distracting you? What kind of face was that? That's your truck out front. I need a ride. I look like a cabbie to you. Get you lost. Do. They're not letting anyone through that roadblock anyway. Not even truckers? They turned me around and said police business only. Pigs. Hmm. I really oh, need a ride. I really need a ride. Not gonna happen. Why? Because you're afraid of some cops? No, because I don't like you. I just killed a guy. I just killed a guy. I'm just about to. <laughs> Oh, uh, smart ass. I don't think that's good for the table. Hey, Quahog. Yeah, Emmett? I'm gonna be knifing up your table for a while, alright? The customer with the knife is always right. Oh, that's a, a safe policy, I suppose. Good talking to you. Friendly folks you get in here. Damn, it's not what you'd call an I'm okay, you're okay person. Ah, shut your hole, Quahog. Yeah, not really... Wait, we actually took the photo. Maybe we can show it to him and ask if he'll bring us to Mink I need to farm. get to this place. Uncle Pete's Mink Ranch. I need to go in that direction too, but the pigs are running the sty at night. How poetic. <laughs> I like Emmett. <laughs> uh, let's talk to bartender, Quahog. Look, let me tell you what happened. I told you, I don't want to get involved. Uh, let's grab his Look, nose ring. Let me tell you what happened. I told you, I don't want to get involved. Alright, maybe he knows something? I heard of this place, Uncle Pete's Mink Ranch. Well, uh, I remember it used to be some sort of weasel plantation or, or something up the road. Down Highway 9 on the other side of them damn roadblocks. I used to pick up mink meat there real cheap and sell it to school lunch programs. <laughs> that was a good scam. Alright then. Ooh, another picture. What's this? It's a big blobby gray shape. I was taking an art class. <laughs> Alright, what about the small one? That's one big fish. Yep. Alright. I'm curious now. Are you the guy with the lampshade on his head? Or the guy chugging out of the punch bowl? Lampshade. Great. Fifteen guys with towels in their belts? My graduating class from bartending school. Alright. This your pit bull? Nah, that's my baby picture. Even better. Whoa. Watch it, that's my sister. I didn't say anything. Not me. It was Emmett. Oh, we can do something with the register. 
it's empty, don't get any ideas. Alright, alright. I guess this is not the place. We need to do something about the roadblocks. Can we just steal it? Probably not. Look, I really need a ride. I guess we have to scare that guy off somehow. I don't know. Let's go by uh, Todd. Maybe he's uh, awake again. We can't go over. Yeah, we can't go over to the left. Won't let me. Right. Move over. Move over. He's still knocked out. That's great. I'm not putting my lips on that. I guess he's still knocked out then. That leaves me with little options. I guess we'll go back to the uh, to the right there. Maybe we can talk to someone or something. Otherwise, I don't really have any idea of what to do. Well, that is a roadblock. So much for returning to the scene of the crime. They'll be coming this way soon. I gotta get a plan. Fast. I don't have one, dude. I just don't. So... I don't know. Let's see now. We can set off an alarm there, but I doubt that's going to stop our roadblock, so... Marine's not there. Todd, Todd is knocked out still. I get the feeling we just have to be at the, uh, at the bar, but didn't really seem to be able to do something there, so... I don't know. I guess I'm going to uh, take a break then. Makes for a good point. Go uh, get some food and stuff. And then return later for some more recording. Because this game is just a ton of fun. It's really surprising me, actually. I expected it to be quite good, but not this good. So yeah, definitely looking forward to playing more of this. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. As much as I have, actually. And uh, I hope you didn't get too pissed off whenever I didn't get it. Because, yeah, there's bound to be more of that. You know me. I kind of suck at these uh, adventure games. But it's only that I've, I've kind of started really playing adventure games ever since I started doing Let's Plays. Because I guess it was because of Seville, which uh, really uh, grabbed my attention with it. It was really enjoyable. And before that, I never used to play them, really. So... It's kind of fun, but it's, uh, it shows the perspective of a total newcomer to the genre, I guess. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that, nevertheless. So, uh, for you, be right back. <laughs> for me, I'll uh, record much later. <laughs> See you guys.